Welcome to this Android Show special edition of Now in Android, your ongoing guide to what's new and notable in the world of Android development. In today's episode, we'll cover Android Show Recap, Jetpack Benchmark 1.2.0, the Google Contacts app and Jetpack Lens, pass keys composed for view-based libraries, and finally, policy updates from Play. First up, the Android Show. The Android Show was back on October 19 in full force, and here are the highlights. First, Dave Berg joined Rebecca Guthrie to discuss the latest Android 14 features such as generative AI wallpapers, large screen features like the new taskbar and compatibility modes, quality and software performance, and much more. Android Studio lovers should also rejoice as Studio Bot is getting smarter with more complex code completion generation, like multi-line completion and entire functions, code commenting, and it is now available in 170 countries around the world. For more Studio Bot, watch GDA Anis Davis and Jamal Eason, Director of Product Management at Google, discuss the behind the scenes. Ben wrote an in-depth article on Jetpack Benchmark 1.2.0, a major release that includes baseline profiles being stable now, as well as new benchmarking modes, full tracing, and improved reporting. Chris Ariola covered how to adopt Jetpack Compose for view-based libraries. He dove into topics such as creating a Compose wrapper for a view-based library, using Compose to implement custom views, and migrating existing view-based libraries to Compose. Now, how do you create a new widget 25% faster while reducing its size by 20%? Well, use the new Jetpack Glance framework as the Google Contest Apps team did recently. And to round up the Compose news, Compose now ships with a faster and more reliable compiler, as well as new APIs, such as the drag and drop API. In the Android X realm, here are the latest updates. Recycle View 1.4.0 Alpha 01 includes bug fixes and performance improvements, including a reduction to the amount of the memo of memory Recycle Views uses. Where Pro Layout 1.1.0 Alpha 01 includes support for zoned daytime formatting, the ability to create and manage dynamic data values, and support for positioning the edge content in edge content layout before other content. Where Tiles 1.3.0 Alpha 01 includes the ability to provide a contest as a preview method parameter as well as a module for web tiles tooling updated for the preview support. And finally, WebKit 1.9.0 Alpha 01 includes the ability to create multiple browsing sessions between web views, APIs to modify how attribution reporting events are registered, support for web transport, and support for the web share API. On the policy side of things, on the latest episode of Policy Bytes, Paya provided important Google Play policy updates. This includes device and network abuse. Only phones and alarm apps that require high priority notification will automatically be granted a screen intent permission on Android 14. Other apps can request full screen intent permissions if the core functionality requires it. Health apps are subject to Google privacy deception and device abuse policies. They must have a privacy policy that is easily accessible to users, that discusses any dangerous or runtime permissions, and how they use users' data. Photo and video permissions. Apps must have read media images and read media video permissions to have broad access to users' photos and videos. Apps that need to access photos and videos on shared storage must pass a review and demonstrate a core use case. We recommend using the photo picker if possible, which doesn't require permissions and offers better privacy protection. On AI-generated content, 
Developers must provide features that allows users to report or flag offensive AI-generated content without having to leave the app. Finally, we held a passkey week from October 23rd to October 27th, where developers learned everything they need to know to successfully implement passkeys. The team also hosted a live Q&A session where engineers across Google answered community questions. In the latest Android developer story, Kayak shared how they collaborated with Google to implement passkeys. This led to reducing sign-in time by 50% and improved security for their users. Watch the video to learn more. That's it for this edition of Now and Android. We covered everything from the return of the Android show, policy updates and clarification for play to compose at glance, compose for view-based libraries, Jetpack benchmark 1.2.0 and passkeys. See you next time with the latest updates from the Android developer universe.